Hi Taurus, welcome to your singles reading for Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For those of you that are new, please subscribe, like, and share. That way you'll continue to get notifications of all the readings that I post. But you'll also, um, I can also tune into your energy as I meditate and bring more personal messages to you that only you will resonate with. For those of you that have inquired about a reading, I do have some availability left over on my Etsy shop. I'll leave the link below. So just head over there and click on that for my availability this week and I'll make sure I'm trying to get all the readings out to you guys by the end of tomorrow. All right, Taurus singles, let's see what's coming your way. Right, Spirit, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All my Taurus singles, what is coming your way? Thank you, Spirit. Is there two here? No, they're just thick. Nine. Slow down, pause, and allow things to unfold. And look at that couple. I love these cards. One at the bottom, 22. The heart of the matter. There is more going on than meets the eye. It's like an adult sleeping and a child sleeping. If you can notice that. Spirit has got something planned for you. There are things happening behind the scenes. I think Leo got that card. Might be a Leo that's coming towards you. 44, thinker. Um, maybe you're manifesting and thinking about the qualities, the personality, the characteristic, the looks, putting it out there to the universe and your spirit source. Trying to bring in your um, the person you're meant to be with. Or it could be somebody's thinking about you. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is going to be advice for you from Spirit. Okay? Thanks, Spirit. Thirty-five, card of eight. Divine potential. Fulfill your destiny. Be all that you can be. Look at that amazing glowing light. Spirit is saying, Taurus, there's only one of you. For each one of my Taurus singles, there's only one of you. Shine. Let yourself shine. Like everything you have to offer. The, everything that makes you stand out. Shine. Because that is what that person, the person coming towards you is going to be drawn to. Another card of 44. Pay attention to 4444. Very spiritual number. And like I said in that with those cards, I feel like spirit has got a plan for you. There's something coming. You're not alone. Something else is happening, which you don't even need to worry about. It's being brought to you. I am presence. Expand your stellar gateway. I am that I am. You've also allowed yourself to heal with this purple. Um with this purple energy. You've allowed yourself to heal. Anything that hurt you in the past, walked away from you, took you for granted, you allowed yourself to heal. Please 
show me what energy Taurus is in. Taurus singles are in in the present moment. Thank you. You might be struggling. You might be working hard. I feel like you're in a spot where you feel like no matter how much you do work or how much effort you put in, it's like you can't get yourself to the top. I feel like you do want to find this person. You want to find someone that you can rush into, rush towards, and sweep them off their feet. You might have put a lot into your past connections and you, it never felt like it was enough. It was also, it was always a struggle. Can I please have the energy of the person coming towards Taurus? With the tower falling out like that, it might happen when you least expect it. It might, it might, you know, the day you meet this person, it's going to feel like a tower moment. Everything changes. Your person might have, um, very, could be very artistic, could be something that they, that makes them stand out. Like they could be an art artist. They could be a race car, um, love to race cars. They could be a tarot reader. They could be a poet. Something that they, <clears throat> like something that, that is an art for them. A tattoo artist. Something that makes them stand out and that they're very dedicated to. This is also them working on themselves. Could be an earth sign working on themselves and being grounded, taking care of their finances, taking care of their stability. What is the mutual energy between Taurus and the person coming towards them? Thank you, Spirit. You both are feeling sad. You both are feeling like, you know, why hasn't things happened for me? Actually, I'm going to put it between the two of you. Why hasn't things happened for me? Why have, you know, why hasn't it been my time? But you're both looking for the stability, the long term, the coming together to support one another. And you are going to have that passionate beginning. <clears throat> this person is, it, they're coming your way. You're, you're going towards one another. What advice do you have for Taurus at this time? It's like make a decision. Be ready to move on. Don't stay blindfolded. Don't stay in that Five of Cups energy. Take the blindfold off. Allow the sun to come in. Be grateful for every day that you have, for whatever is in your day. Even if your day sucks at school or sucks at work. Be grateful that you had that day. And know that this reading, this person, you're making your way towards this person, but take the blindfold off because you may miss it. And what is the overall outcome for Taurus and their person? I hate... Beach of Cups is trying to come out, but it's not flipping over. The two of you both might have had separate endings to other things recently. That this popped out on its own. It could be also the ending of the broken hearts. The ending of the sorrow. The ending of holding back. Spirit, what is the overall outcome for Taurus and their person? Yeah, there is going to be movement. This is the overall outcome. It flipped over. The Three of Pentacles. There is going to be movement. You are both moving out of the sadness stage. The regret. The, like, sadness. The woe is me kind of state. And that's okay that you were in that. No judgment. We've all been there. That's what got me to my spiritual awakening. So you're moving past that. 
you're coming together for that support. It might be somebody that you meet online or somebody that has their eye on you or that you might have your eye on them. Spirit, can I have more for the overall outcome? Thank you. Yeah, Page of Wands. It's like you are both going to take that leap of faith. You're just going to spontaneously jump towards this connection because you know that there is a connection. There's going to be love. And there is that fast movement. I really feel like Spirit is telling you, Taurus and Cross Watchers, if you have your eye on a Taurus, to get out of the sadness because that is the mutual energy between the two of you. Get out of the sadness. Forgive the past. Forgive what wasn't. Forgive the people, not because you're forgiving the people, but because you're forgiving them for yourself. Forgive whatever happened and didn't work out and allow this to rush in because I definitely feel like it's divinely guided. 4444 four, 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 four has popped out. Um, 8, which could be broken down to 4, four. 8 again, 4, four. Pay attention to repeating 8s and repeating 4s. Pay attention to your thoughts at the time and your environment. It might be spirit's way of telling you, like, pick up your head, take the blindfold off. The person is in your energy. You got to let me know how this resonates when this person comes towards you. Could be, um, I just saw justice popped out. It could be an air sign. could be Libra specifically. All right, Spirit, can you please clarify the five of wands? Thank you. Yep. Even though you feel like no matter how much you could not get ahead or could not get to the point where you need it to be, to have the right person come into your life, you're going to take that leap of faith towards this person. You're still willing to jump all in. And I feel like because you allowed or are in the process of allowing yourself to heal from past hurts. Clear your head. Allow spirit to bring you messages. But you're healing. Spirit, please clarify the eight of pentacles for Taurus's person. Thank you. Five of Wands, wow. See, you both are in the same exact energy. Five of Wands, Five of Wands. They are working on getting over their struggles, their sadness. They're keeping themselves busy and being the best version of what they thrive at that they can be. The wheel is turning for both of you. Both of you are mirroring each other. It might feel like you, you it, this coming together with you being in the same exact energy, it may be that when it comes together, it flows so easy like you've met this person before. You just have that connection. Because God forbid I make this about anybody coming back from the past. So for my singles with this new life, nobody from the past, it could be that feeling that you've known them for a lifetime. You're manifesting one another. Spirit, please clarify the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups for the mutual energy. The five of Cups for the mutual energy. All right? And Spirit. Yeah. You've got that passion. They have that passion. It definitely could be a fire sign, Taurus. But it's like you want to like gallop in and sweep somebody off their feet. Give them all the passion and all the love and romance that you have to give. You're going to make each other, you're going to heal each other's pain, I feel. It's going to be like it's wish fulfillment. The stars are going to align. 
please clarify the two of swords. <laughs> and Spirit is saying, Taurus, take your blindfold off because here is this person with all this passion for you. And it's a king, it's a king energy. They know who they want. They're waiting for their person also. Definitely could be a fire sign. Take the blindfold off. Allow it to be. Open your eyes so that you see it rather than let it pass you by. All right, and please clarify the three of pentacles and the knight of swords. The brand new beginning. This brand new energy of rushing towards one another for support, long-term commitment, something stable, supportive, and grounded. This is amazing. And I'm just going to show you at the bottom of the deck again, and no words will be said, Six of Cups. So for those of you that listen to many readings, do readings on your own, I'm just going to leave it there. All right, let's see. All right, Spirit. For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Singles, what else do you have for me? Trust divine timing. Yeah, man, spirit is all over this reading, and I love it. Thank you for giving me this reading. Magnet, longing, desiring. A card of five. There is this person coming towards you. It's like you are drawing each other into both. You're both drawing each other in. You are the querent, a person you know, girlfriend, fiance, spouse. So the person you might meet might have like amazing olive skin, like like the best tan, just dark skin, beautiful curls. Bridge, communication, unite, connecting. Yeah. And let's see what comes out with this deck. I had to break them down. They're too big for my hands. The Taurus Sun Moon Rising in the Spirit. Okay. The Emperor, the bottom of the deck, Aries. Both of you are going to. When you meet, both of you are going to be like, no games. You both have healed and risen up. No games. Like I said, it's going to end like during the spring. For those of you that are in springtime, more fire. Expect the unexpected. Remember when the tower card fell out and I said it's going to be like a tower moment when you, when you come in contact with this person. Sexy, larger than life new life. Expect the unexpected. Things are coming to light. Go with your intuition on this. You're going to feel it as soon as it transpires. Catalyst. Ignite. Get things done. Fuel. Torch. That's what I'm going to put right with the Knight of Swords energy. Then they're just, it's going to be full, full steam ahead when you come in contact. Thank you, Spirit. Positive change. Dare to be different. When you are criticized, remember that you will never please everyone. Many different and gifted individuals were not fully appreciated or understood in their own lifetime. Yet it is often they who have sown the seeds of change. Taurus, this is an amazing reading. You're both mirroring each other. The hurt. The, how much the struggle you put in when it comes to love and relationships. 
So please let me know how this resonates. Let me know if somebody's already in your energy. Um, and like I said, if you're looking for a personal reading, head over to my Etsy shop. Link will be below. And I will try to get them out to you as fast as I can. Okay? Stay safe. And if you are new, subscribe, like, and share.